Hello Hectovers and welcome back to my channel Hectover. Today is March 11, 2021 and in today's video I will show you how I built my 8x8 RGB LED matrix. First I design a, a very simple pattern for 8x8 LEDs in total 64 RGB NeoPixel LEDs and I print that with my 3D printer it takes about two and a half uh, hours to print it and it's not the best 3D printed quality but we'll do the job for animation with NeoPixel LEDs these are the LEDs LEDs in strip RGB LEDs programmable individually with addressable code I got this from from eBay 5 meters for around $15 I can't remember the right price but I'm gonna use 8 strips by 8 LEDs 64 RGB LEDs in total and you can see that I cut 8 strips and I will place on the 3D printed case and glue them with the super glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8 strips by 8, eight LEDs are fixed with super glue on the 3D printed case turn out pretty good and how to control the LEDs it's a Arduino based project so I'm gonna use the the Atmega 328 chip I'm making my own Arduino board and the chip Atmega 328 we will solder it on one of these printed sucker boards universal printed sucker boards that are, that are made by PCBWay that I want to mention that this project is sponsored by PCBWay which is producing high quality printed circuit boards that can be flexible that can be one side or double side printed circuit boards they have PCB assembled servers and for more information you can check the link in description below and visit PCBWay for ordering high quality printed circuit boards like this one okay let's continue with the project now I have already cut small piece for making the, the Arduino board and I'm using Atmega 328 chips that will be programmed with the, the code for driving the NeoPixel LEDs by the way the code you you can get in description below not to forget that the, that the Atmega328 chip need a oscillator 16 MHz to operate okay. after a while and I'm sorry for not showing how to make this but I'm gonna put a circuit diagram on the screen so you can see it this is the basic Arduino DIY board using the chip the oscillator 16 MHz two LEDs one for power on and second LED is soldered on digital pin 13 and one push switch push button I have already program the code into the chip and now you're gonna see how it's working with the RGB matrix also to mention that from Arduino board to NeoPixel matrix are only needed three wires positive negative and one wire for for controlling or all 64 LEDs they are addressable and each one can be programmed 
and controlled by the Arduino board. This is nice board and turn out pretty cool. Okay, let's test it now. I'm gonna run the NeoPixel RGB matrix and Arduino board with my 18650 battery 3.7 volts and let's see what will happen let me kill the lights and it's working but it's not very cool right now why? because I'm not using a diffuser that is this plastic piece white I'm gonna place it and look beautiful pattern of fading RGB LEDs with the push button I, I can change the mode look it now This is awesome and it's very amazing. Let's see this one. It's changing the colors and this one is pretty cool. Without the cruiser, there is not very looking but with this is super I can change the mode by the way it's powered by one 18650 3.7 volts battery the Arduino board that I made it by myself and the 3D printed 64 matrix 8x8 64 LEDs matrix let's give the light very cool and to show you that I 3D printed a back cover just like this so I can protect the wires and the LEDs it will be fixed with super glue just like this and it will be awesome and cool LED gadget with LEDs That was all for today's video, I hope you like it, please share, like the video and, po and for more DIY videos please check my channel. See ya! Whoa. Awesome!